Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel! Today, we'll be painting another leaf because, you know, I love painting um, leaves and nature and flowers. So today, I decided to paint a very simple leaf. It's an autumn leaf. It's the maple leaf, of course, and we'll be doing some 3D, um, uh, not 3D, 3D effect. <laughs> so let's begin now, guys. And the colors that we'll be using for today's painting are as follows. Let me just get my palette. So we have here um, cadmium yellow. We have here orange, burnt sienna here, and paints gray here, guys. So let's begin now, guys. And I'm going to sketch first my leaf and then underpaint it later. So let's begin now. So I'm just going to wet my brush now. I'm just going to be... I will be using a small square brush for this one. I'm gonna get my orange for sketching purposes only. So let's begin now. So, it's like this. Again, guys, we're just sketching. We're just trying to um, proportion things. Once the sketching is done, um, it's fun time already. Alright, so this will be center, like that. Alright. Then we'll be doing some detailing later. So we're almost done sketching. And of course, all right, like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna underpaint my leaf. I'm gonna get again my orange. I'm gonna get my cad yellow and burnt sienna, but I'm not blending them, the three colors. I'll just be underpainting my leaf without you know just mix the three the three colors for now we're just under painting so you can even use brownie colors doesn't matter Okay, I think I have to change my brush. My brush is quite small. Or maybe not because 
of those small um, indentations right here. All right, so I'm, I think I am not changing my brush. All right, so just be patient with this process. I'm gonna, oops. So, all right, I'm just gonna add one, one more spikes. I mean, one more, one more spike. Okay, guys, I think I'm still sleepy. So I'm just combining orange, yellow, and burnt sienna in underpainting my leaf. You can even underpaint your leaf red, to be honest. You can choose leaf, I mean red. So that's the underpainting for this leaf. So we're just going to allow this first to dry. Let's move on to the 3D effect already. Mm. It's very, very noisy outside. <sighs> Can you hear it, guys? Okay, so I'm gonna wash my brush out and then I'm gonna let it dry for a while. I'm gonna get my paint spray. So get your paint spray, or if you don't have paint spray, you can use your ordinary black paint. And we're going around the leaf now. All right, like that. Okay, still paints gray.
red like that and then I'm gonna get more painless gray right we're almost done doing the the effect and we will be moving on to doing the details of the leaf just a few more um paint gray Alright, now I'm going to get my Paints Gray plus Burnt Sienna. So just create dark brownie color. And I'm just going to make some more um, 3D effect using some dark browns. I'm just going to outline the leaf using dark brown. Okay. Okay, I forgot to make some more dark, um, like shading here. Okay. All right. So for now. I'm just going oh it's already looking 3d to be honest <laughs> i did not expect that all right i'm just gonna get another another mixture of dark brown let's go down here Alright, so let's move on to detailing our leaf. So for the details of the veins, I'm just going to get my cad yellow. And it's alright if the orange is mixing, it's alright. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to get, oh, I forgot, my titanium white. I don't think I've mentioned that I'll be using titanium white. Maybe because I will only be using a few or only a small amount of titanium white, that's why. So I'm just going to add titanium white to my yellow and orange mixture. And let's go make some veins. I'm going to go right here. And I'm just going to go up. So again, if you need to use a thinner brush, it's all right.
Okay, let's create some more veins. Sorry guys, I'm not really talking too much today because I really like the subject. I just want to paint, to be honest. So I'm just making some small veins, some are visible, some are very subtle, so it's not really, it's a mixture of everything, light and dark, sometimes I press hard, sometimes I press light, um, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna wash my brush out. And I'm just gonna get my burnt sienna right here. I'm, I'm gonna mix that with orange. And I'm gonna water down, guys, because as you know me, I always use watered down paints when I want to create some um, interesting effects on my painting. So I'm just gonna dab on some dark browns here and there. And of course, I'm gonna use my good old fingers in applying my paints. If you've been watching my videos, uh, you'll see me do this very often. I don't know if there are other artists who, who do this technique. Maybe yes, maybe no, I don't know. But there's no rule. You can do whatever you want. And in my case, I'm doing what I want. Again, just water down dark browns. This is to create more um, uh, dimension. Like that. like that okay 
So now I'm gonna get just pure orange. Okay, just pure orange and of course, water down. I'm just gonna apply it uh, like randomly all over my leaf like this. Of course guys, you can um, use your brush in doing this. You don't have to use your fingers just like what I'm doing. It's just that it's my way of doing it and I want to show you how I do it without forcing you guys to copy it. I want to teach you some technique that I achieve through doing or through this way. So I'm just going to delete this one because it's kind of ugly. Uh, I made a mistake by dropping uh, paint like that so I just deleted the paint all right so this time I'm gonna use my cad yellow get your cad yellow and of course water it down same way same way as we did with the orange and the browns and I'm just gonna dab on some light paints or light yellows randomly and I'm gonna dab on especially in the middle like that I hope you get the idea though so especially here like that wash your brush out I'm gonna get my yellow I'm gonna add a lot of white to that because I really want this to be opaque and bright so just get your yellow plus white and we're going back to the veins and highlight some veins make the veins look irregular don't make them super straight lines well, that's for me. I mean, that's my way of uh, treating natural objects. They are really not straight or perfect, sh perfectly shaped um, subjects because they should be, uh, what do you call that? Asymmetrical. They should not be perfect because the more perfect they look, the more fake they look. <laughs> right <laughs> right All right, so I'm gonna wash my brush out and then I'm gonna get my brownie color. I think I have to use a smaller brush just for purposes of creating thin lines. So I'm just gonna get my cad, oh sorry, my orange plus burnt sienna. I already have it earlier, so yeah, just get some dark brown, almost dark orange. And again, we're just going back to the leaf and redefine it by outlining it just go back and outline it
like that. So I'm just outlining my leaf using dark browns. And I'm gonna use the remaining colors just to dab on some spots on my leaf because I feel like it needs more like spots or natural discoloration of this leaf. So again, I'm gonna water down my yellows and my browns. Doesn't really matter because this is a dried leaf. So you don't have to worry too much about getting perfect um, blending because again, this is a dried leaf. I'm gonna get my light yellow and redefine the vein. It got painted over when I glaze it. So I'm just redefining it. I'm gonna make some light orange colors like that. Okay, wash your brush out. Again, I'm gonna make some yellowy colors. Make some dots as well, like random markings like this. Just for it to look more natural. I'm gonna get more but uh, more burnt sienna so I'm just making some burnt sienna and um, paints gray combined to create more dark spots very random right here as well all right like that I want to see how this looks like oh, it's very very nice so I'm just gonna dab on some other shades of orange so that I make it look more natural
Okay. I'm going to get my yellows. Let's create more veins. Like that. Just create those tiny veins. You know, lately I've been watching Anne of Green Gables repetitively. So many times I've been watching that. And I'm obsessed now about Canada, <laughs> Prince Edward Island, and Green Gables. I'm just so obsessed. So I felt like, why not paint something that would remind me of Anne of Green Gables? Actually, I've painted this before. Only that... I haven't uh, shown a video of myself painting this and it's been years already since the last time I painted that so why not paint it again sometimes you don't even know the difference you make by redo unless you do or redo another painting or redo a painting that you've done before all right I'm gonna wash my brush out Oh, this is so nice. So I think I have to... Create more veins. Okay, now I'm gonna get my orange plus yellow. I want to create some light orange. And of course, I'm just gonna make it quite random when I apply it. Very random. like that All right. Okay, now I'm gonna get my dark brown. Let's create some veins that are quite dark. I love painting nature because you don't have to worry too much about um, detailings like structure. When you paint the nature, the more irregular the shape is, the more natural they look. I don't know, it's just me. This is nice.
<laughs> this is very nice. I'm just dabbing on some white and yellows here and there because I want some like bouncing lights. Right. And I'm just going to outline the tip of my leaf because I feel like it's not really defined. Alright, so I'm going to wash my brush out. And... Oh, this is nice. I'm gonna sign it now. That was really quick, right? I'm gonna sign it now. I'm gonna sign it right here. Oh, wait, maybe wait, guys. I'm just gonna fix something I saw. It's weird. And I think I have to get my titanium white. I just have to delete something, guys. Those tiny markings, I need to erase that. These are just simple, uh, I mean, yeah, simple errors that you may actually uh, let go of. It's all right. If they're there, it's all right, I mean. But for purposes of cleaning my painting, I just want them, like, deleted. That one too. There you go. All right, it's nice. Really nice. Okay, so I think we're done already. Right, guys? Are we done? I don't want to finish this yet. <laughs> okay. So again, adding some more detailing. And of course, I'm going to correct that one.
All right. Yeah, I think we're done. Are we done? <laughs> wait, guys. Wait, wait, wait. This one. I forgot. We're just going to lighten it by adding white to my orange. We want it quite light because the light is heating this part of the leaf. Like that. Yes, we're done. So thanks for watching that. Wait, wait guys. I just saw something. There you go. Yes, I really like, I want it clean. Don't you want it clean? I want it clean, guys. Okay. All right. That's it. That's it. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. I kind of like this one. So we did a 3D painting today. And see you in my next video, guys. If you like this video, let me know by clicking on the like button or commenting some you know commenting kind words uh in the in the comment section below if you really like this painting let me know guys and if you painted along with me just let me know by messaging me on facebook or by posting it on my uh facebook so see you in my next video guys mm -hmm.